so friends in this session we will complete one case study so advanced bank management abm case study right from the your macmillan unsolved case study page number 162 question number 2 so from correlation there is unsolved question of a second number we are going to solve here so friends see here what question says in the college teacher collected data about absenteeism of the students he wanted to find whether there is any relationship between absence and the temperature of the day so basically uh, there is a data regarding the absentee of the students and the temperature of the day so teacher want to establish or want to know whether there is any relationship between the temperature of the day and absentee of the student that means if the temperature increases whether there is absentee increases or not that's basically teacher want to find okay now see see here uh, in a first th they are asking state dependent variable and the independent variable third question relationship between the variable that is whether it is linear relationship or the curvilinear relationship and last they are asking find the curve right that is the nature of the curve and we have to find the coefficient of the correlation important most important is we have to find the coefficient of the correlation so friends see here very first which of the following is the dependent variable and the independent variable see friends absence of the students are depend on the temperature of the day that means basically right if there is a increase in the temperature we can say that absence absenteeism may increase or decrease right that means but vice versa we cannot say right if the uh, students are less in the student then temperature may increase or decrease we cannot say like that right so basically uh, basically what is the important thing you have to note here the simple thing is that the absenteeism is the depend on the temperature so which is dependent variable absenteeism is the dependent variable right and temperature is the independent variable okay this is the very first question uh, answer of our question that is uh, temperature is the independent variable that's why we have to assume independent variable as the x and the dependent variable that means which is changing we have to assume it as a y okay now suppose see here in the solution part we have to find the coefficient of the correlation so friends see here the basic and important most important formula is coefficient of correlation small r it is equal to the covariance of x y divided by standard deviation of x and into standard deviation of y this is the most important formula but friends we have to solve the numerical in the most easiest way so i have derived a formula remember what is that formula for the coefficient of the correlation is nothing but very simple see friends mean of x y minus mean of x into mean of y divided by under root of first mean of x square minus mean of x whole square into under root of mean of y square minus mean of y whole square so it is a very very simple formula you, that is that formula you have to mug up you have to mug up that formula which this one you have to mug up because it is very very important okay in this formula we have to put the values now see here on the uh, right side you can see see we have taken x x is what x is our temperature temperature we have taken as x and y that is absent we have taken as a y okay all the values we have taken see uh, 3 and 3 and 3 and 1 that means almost 10 values are there total 10 variables are they have given for y also we have drawn now our next step we have to calculate the x square we have to calculate the x square how to calculate just square the x 10 square 100 20 square 400 25 square 620 in this fashion you have to write the x square next step you have to find the y square next step you have to find the y square how to find y we have already known that just to square it that is 8 square 64 7 is 49 5 is 25 in this fashion 
ओके नाइन जा एटी वन सो यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड दी वाई स्क्वायर नाउ नेक्स्ट टास्क इज वेरी सिंपल जस्ट फाइंड एक्स इन टू वाई ओके वी हैव एक्स वी हैव वाई जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई एक्स वाई एटी ट्वेंटी सेवन जा वन फोर्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव जा वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड सो ऑन ओके आफ्टर डूइंग दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड दी समेशन ऑफ ऑल समेशन ऑफ धिस कॉलम समेशन ऑफ एक्स समेशन ऑफ धिस कॉलम समेशन ऑफ वाई समेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर धिस वैल्यू समेशन ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर धिस वैल्यू समेशन ऑफ एक्स वाई धिस वैल्यू ओके एंड नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड मीन दैट मीन्स बेसिकली वी हैव टू फाइंड द एवरेज राइट सो टोटल टेन वेरिएबल सो डिवाइड दिस समेशन बाई टेन यू विल गेट थ्री नाइन्टी फोर डिवाइड बाई टेन यू विल गेट थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर फिफ्टी सेवन डिवाइड बाई टेन यू विल गेट फाइव पॉइंट सेवन बिकॉज टेन वेरिएबल्स आर देयर बिकॉज एन इज इक्वल टू टेन सो टेन वेरिएबल्स आर देयर नाउ समेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर वन एट टू फाइव सिक्स डिवाइड बाई टेन यू विल गेट वन एट वन एट टू फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री सेवेंटी थ्री डिवाइड बाई टेन एंड टू टू सेवन टू डिवाइड बाई टेन यू विल गेट मीन वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल नाउ द नेक्स्ट टास्क इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू सी वॉट इज अ मीन ऑफ एक्स वाई दैट मीन्स दिस एक्स वाई कॉलम एंड मीन वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दी टू टू सेवन पॉइंट टू जस्ट पुट वैल्यू नेक्स्ट मीन ऑफ एक्स माइनस मीन ऑफ एक्स वॉट इज मीन ऑफ एक्स दैट इज थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर जस्ट पुट वैल्यू वॉट इज मीन ऑफ वाई सी वाई मीन ऑफ वाई इज फाइव पॉइंट सेवन जस्ट पुट फाइव पॉइंट सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई अंडर रूट ऑफ वॉट इज मीन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर हेयर इज एक्स स्क्वेयर सो मीन इज वन एट टू फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स जस्ट पुट वैल्यू वॉट इज मीन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर मीन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर रिमेंबर हेयर मीन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर हेयर मीन ऑफ एक्स होल ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर सो वॉट इज मीन ऑफ एक्स सी वेरी फर्स्ट मीन ऑफ एक्स इज थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर सो थर्टी नाइन फोर जा स्क्वेयर ओके आई थिंक इट इज विजिबल टू यू एंड नेक्स्ट इज द मीन ऑफ वाई स्क्वेयर वॉट इज मीन ऑफ वाई स्क्वेयर सी एर सी एर मीन ऑफ वाई स्क्वेयर वॉट इज मीन ऑफ वाई स्क्वेयर वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इज दी थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री सो जस्ट अ पुट वैल्यू मीन ऑफ वाई स्क्वेयर थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री वॉट इज मीन ऑफ वाई होल ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर मीन ऑफ वाई सी एर इन दिस वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड मीन ऑफ वाई इट इज दी फाइव फिफ्टी सेवन डिड बाई टेन डिवाइड बाई टेन यू विल गेट फाइव पॉइंट सेवन सो जस्ट अ पुट अ वैल्यू राइट सो इट इज अ वेरी वेरी सिंपलेस्ट एंड ईजीएस्ट वे जस्ट अ पुट दी वैल्यू यू विल गेट वेन यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट इन द न्यूमरेटर टू पॉइंट सिक्सटी टू एंड इन द डिनोमीटर यू विल गेट अंडर रूट ऑफ दिस वैल्यू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फाइव नाइन फाइव टू डबल नाइन एंड फॉर दिस यू विल गेट टू पॉइंट वन नाइन थ्री एंड वेन यू सॉल्व दिस यूजिंग द सिंपल कैलकुलेटर यू विल फाइंड दैट द कोईफिशेंट ऑफ कोरोलेशन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन डबल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन डबल टू दिस विल बी द वैल्यू फॉर योर कोईफिशेंट ऑफ द कोरिलेशन ओके फ्रेंड्स सो इन दिस फैशन इट इज द इजिएस्ट वे टू फाइंड द कोईफिशेंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन एंड रिमेंबर यू हैव टू सॉल्व दिस न्यूमेरिकल ओनली बाय दिस मेथड राइट इट इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल आई रिपीट माई स्टेप्स वेरी फर्स्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड द एक्स जस्ट राइट डाउन एक्स डू दिस समेशन डिवाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ वेरिएबल्स फाइंड द मीन राइट डाउन वाई डू द समेशन फाइंड द मीन राइट डाउन एक्स स्क्वायर राइट डाउन वाई स्क्वायर फाइंड देयर मीन एंड जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दैट इज एक्स वाई फाइंड देयर मीन एंड जस्ट पुट दैट वैल्यू इन दैट फॉर्मूला and when you put and solve using the simple calculator you are able to get the value for the coefficient of the correlation this is the most easiest way to solve the numerical of the coefficient of the correlation now our next task is suppose suppose in the same example they have asked find the covariance of x y how do you solve see here there are two formulas right very first is the coefficient of correlation is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by uh, that is the standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y and in an, and the same formula for the coefficient of correlation i have derived right you will not find this formula anywhere this is derived by me okay so it is the simplest form so remember friends covariance of x y in the numerator here and here also co numerator so if they are asking in addition to that that find the covariance of x y if they are asking find the covariance of x y how can you find just find the numerator value of that formula okay so what will be the our uh, covariance value see here we have already derived it is 2.62 so what will be our answer 
2.62 okay right did you, are, are you getting ah, okay now see friends if they ask find the standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y that is you have to find delta x and delta y how can you find very simple again it is delta x into delta y then find the numerator value this part is your delta x and this part of is your delta y so in the same case study we are able to solve coefficient of correlation also we are able to find the covariance of xy also and we are able to find the standard deviation of x and y also okay we have calculated the standard uh, deviation of xy along with the coefficient of correlation now our next step whether the relationship is uh, linear or curvilinear so friends our value is 0 0.072 it is a positive value right that means uh, it is a positive relationship there is a positive relationship there is a positive relationship but the value 0 0.07 is far away from one value that means there is a weak positive relationship there is a weak positive relationship so we can say there is a curvy that is a non linear relationship that is a non linear relationship and uh, we can say non linear that means we can say it is a curvy linear relationship so answer is the curvy linear relationship so what is the type of the curve it is the curvy linear that is non linear okay and uh, we have to find the coefficient of correlation we have already already calculated so in this fashion we can solve the numerical or the case study of the correlation so remember i want to repeat that formula that formula you should mug up right and uh, once you write that formula two to three times you can easily able to remember that formula what is that formula coefficient of correlation is equal to mean of x y minus mean of x into mean of y divided by under root of mean of x square minus mean of x whole square into mean of y square minus mean of y whole square it is very very simple write down that formula five times you are able to remember that formula very easily and remember that formula is also very very easy numerator part is the covariance and denominator part is the deviation of x into deviation of y okay so in this way you can able to solve the case study for four to five marks so friends we will continue our discussion in the next session